So even more than that, Simon, what's so cool about today is it is a preview of this coming week. If you have kids at home learning virtually, which I know so many of you do, they're probably tired of the same old science class. They have veterinarians, scientists coming in, and they're gonna teach you veterinary science. And it is a class you can sign your kids up for. This is so, so cool, Ellen. And there are things about ponies. We know they're cute. We know they're fun to brush, but there are important things to know about how you assess their health and their breed. So the skeletal system, that's something we're gonna be talking about. Absolutely. At this virtual vet science, we'll be visiting with our horse vet who will explain equine anatomy, comparative anatomy, and the use of x-rays so that a veterinarian can assess whether an animal who seems to have an injury has broken bones. And so we'll learn all about that, as well as the other external and internal body features that a horse uses to survive. So let's show some people some things. So there's a certain part on the horse, on the spine, right? That you yes, were mentioning? Absolutely. So one of the things that's interesting about horses versus ponies is how we determine a pony from a horse, and that's the height. One of the ways we do that is by measuring it, and you may have heard of the term hands. We use hands, and we basically measure with our hands the height of a horse. And we measure that from the ground up to this point on the horse's spine, the withers. And so we would measure the number of hands, and that would determine a horse is any equine over 14.2 hands and a pony would be 14.2 or below and obviously sesame our shetland pony is a pony she's much less than, yes. than 14 now, hands i know we've got a brush here i'm going to kind of pick that up because grooming i know makes the pony look pretty but Show me how we groom and how it is actually good for the pony's health. Absolutely. It's important. So the body covering of the horse, her coat, is part of how she survives, right? It grows thicker and warmer for her in the winter. Grooming helps keep that coat clean and healthy. And so we, on a regular basis, will use our grooming tools. And the children who will participate will learn all about grooming and horse care. That's so cool. Now... It's gonna go beyond what we're doing right here. They're going to do x-rays through these Zooms and you're gonna get into breakout rooms to do discussions, hands-on activities, see the animals up close and personal. Coming up, we're going to see some animals who are, are going to be giving birth soon and talk about some unique things with those animals. Saima, back to you.